Hey guys, and welcome to another video. This time we're going to be taking a look at the recently released Resident Evil 2 GOG port. Now I have played this a little bit, uh, but I thought for funsies, we're going to start having a look at some games on the Ally for people who are uh, looking for that kind of stuff. And for everybody else, well, you might enjoy it. Um, now, I've got everything framed in a way that I'm happy. Uh, I'm filming on my phone with a tripod, and this is on a phone stand. So I'm going to be using a Xbox controller. This is a very old Xbox One controller, uh, but I'm pretty sure it's fine. Right, let's go. I have configured the game, so it's got all the nice graphics and all that lot. as sharp and uh, all the upscalers on. Now, let us go. And the onboard controller is disabled. And we are running in 13 watt silent mode. So let's see if the game's actually going to pop up. Uh, are we going to do Claire? Does the touch controls work? I can't see why they wouldn't. Oh, we've got video settings here. Let's have a look. Same as, uh, yeah, that's just the same stuff I've already configured. Yeah, you know what? Let's go give Claire a run. And yeah, there we go. So the touch screen does actually work, which is cool. We like that. Control pad has been picked up. She's working. Lovely. Let's go. Original mode. We're going to go easy. Say, so, ooh, should we go easy or should we go normal? If we go normal, you know what? You know what? If we go normal, we can fight Brad. But that doesn't mean we can't pick up any ting. But then we'd have to play for quite a while to get the special. We're going to go normal. We're going to go normal. Not sure how much of this I'm actually going to play, but hey, we don't need cutscenes and story, damn it. This game is a very well trodden road. We should all know everything about this game. Let's go. At least if you're a millennial like me, you should know everything about this game. Unless you were living under a rock, of course, back in 98. This is so cool that I'm not holding the ally. I don't have to worry about it going out of frame and stuff. Lush. And I can still see the screen. I'm not looking through my camera. Excellent. All right, Mr. Kendo. Hey, what are you doing here? Don't shoot. Dude, I'm, I'm a human. Whew. Sorry about that, babe. Sorry about that, babe. I thought you were one of them. I actually think we can skip this. We can't. I love that sound. I ain't got no clue, darling. By the time I noticed something was wrong, the entire city was infested with zombies. <gasps> William, what have you done? Right, and now if we talk to him again, he's like really creepy. But don't you worry, girl. You'll be safe in here. Uh huh. I'm keeping a close eye on things. Don't you worry, girly. You'll be safe in here. Uh-huh. Right. Well, I mean, I'm going to be safe in here. Uh, not... Ah, oh, shit. We picked up the fucking ammo. You know what? Don't even matter. Don't even matter. No, not even worry about it. I guess we picked up the ammo, so... <laughs> Fair enough. That means we can't see Brad and we can't get the cutscene. Uh, the costume. It matters not. But we are going to run in. Seems we've already fucked it. Get off me, you damn zombies. you never seen a woman before? Right. Give me that. Get the bow gun. Just for shits and gigs. And let's go see if there's anybody in the basketball port, uh, court. I'm pretty sure there will be. What a shit all this place is, man. Honestly. I don't know where all those city funds have been going to, but they haven't been going into waste collection or sanitation, that's for sure. Grab some more rounds. Come on, you zombie bastards. Let's get this show on the road. I think we're going to drop these Zeds. Now, me and my mate used to take the piss and say that, um, whoop, get around you. Um, that his uh, older, at the time, teenage brother made all of the sound effects for the zombies. Because he was like the stereotypical, like lazy, moany teenager. And, uh, you know, that tickled us immensely. 
Lovely. Now, one thing I will, I have noticed actually about the PC version, unless there's an option menu somewhere hidden away like there was in the first game, you had to push F4. Uh, you, there's no auto aim at all. Hello, Misty. The world's favorite zombie. Can we jump down, please? Thank you. All right, we'll go that way and then wait for him to take a couple of steps. See you later, sucker. Now let's take a nice little run through the uh, bus stop. Or the stopped bus. I guess technically this is a bus stop. At least it is now. And there is a crawling Misty. And a Zed behind her. Oh, we need to go for a reload. You know, one thing, actually, I haven't used a Xbox One controller for ages. Uh, we use the series ones now. But the buttons are a lot softer. They're not as clicky and harsh as the other ones. Uh, on the modern series controllers, which is interesting. Come on, buddy. I ain't nobody got no time for your nonsense today. All right, let's get out of here. And let's go on a little adventure through the masses. The unwashed masses, because I'm pretty sure zombies don't wash. And go into the police precinct. And we can go see our friend Marvin Branagh. Who actually was really well done in the remake. He became a, a proper, like, main character. And I appreciated the little bit of, uh, you know, character development they actually gave him. It was nice. I do need to sort out what I can do about the reflection in the ally on the screen. I don't know what I can really do about that, but we will improve. We always do. Uh, now, oh, this, the upscaling looks nice. Even on the ally screen, which, you know, you have to have it right up to your eyeballs to see. But it actually looks all right. All right, let's go see Marv. <laughs> you all right there, pal? Long time no see. Zombie-like creatures. In a located in the outskirts of this city, Chris and the other stars members discovered that Umbrella was behind everything. <gasps> at the risk of their own lives, but no one believed them. <sighs> Are you okay? Don't worry about me. Just rescue the survivors in the other rooms. Here, take this key card. You should be able to unlock the doors in the hall with this. Now go. But I Just said go. go. Get out of here. Okay. Just hang in there. I'll be back soon. We will be back soon, Marvin. We'll have a little chat then. Gun to face. Anywho, let's go use our key card. And uh, we're going to go see the liquor. I think that's probably where we're going to leave it. I want to do more of these ally videos. Um, now we don't need to save it. Savings for fools. Uh, let's just unlock all the doors. And the music in this game. The music in this. Yeah, Resident Evil 2. Like it, I mean, the original trilogy, really. But this game has just unmatched music. And we can skip the doors, like you could in um, the second game. Uh, the first game, I should say, which is great. Such a nice little addition. Uh, you know, we're going to stick the knife back, so we don't need it. We're also going to combine, and we're going to equip. Let's go. Come on, Claire. <coughs> no, 
Now, Claire is the master of unlocking in this game. Take the F8 spray, because why not? And we're going to see our liquor friend. Interesting, they've actually removed that particular part from uh, the remake. They just put it in a little bit later on. Okay. It is odd that the door opening sequences run at 60 frames a second, but the rest of the game runs in 30. I've tried all sorts of different um, power modes and everything. That no, is just dirty. It is just the game engine. I'm sure it'll eventually be modded in. Let's grab some bullets. Yeah, his head is missing. Oh no. <coughs> Evening. That ain't Spider-Man. Oh my. Claire's about to get dribbled on. But we're just gonna take this guy out. Yeah, liquors are kind of a joke. They made them way stronger in uh, the remakes. Uh, oh, we can pause. Oh, we do have some buttons and such. Interesting, good to know, I guess. Okay. I mean, that's very reminiscent of the Dreamcast um, config screen, to be fair. Um, and munch that. I suppose we can continue down this hallway. Oh, that music, that ambience is so good. It really is. All right, hey zombies. Whoop. She, ooh, he was a bit of a lurcher now. Ah, oh, we're empty, son of a bitch, that's fine. Uh, no, thank you. Let's drop this guy and head into the first save room. The dark room. Anyway guys, I'm gonna leave this here. Uh, I'm satisfied with this. Oh, the save music. I'm satisfied with this. I think we can say does Resident Evil 2 work on the RG Ally on the minimum settings with all the maximum improvements turned on? Uh, yeah, yes it does. Absolutely works, phenomenally. And we're only using eight watts. Well, between eight and 10 watts. So you're gonna get like maximum battery life probably somewhere in the region of, well, I mean, if it's drinking eight watts and you're fully charged on an 80 watt hour battery, you're probably gonna get like nine hours. You probably won't get nine hours. You'll probably get about seven. But yeah, that that's, that's pretty banging, actually. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna leave this one here. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.